It is about time that we started using the knowledge that we have about AI, ChatGPT, and all these different features to start making some real money. All you have to do is watch this video and use a little bit of your creativity and you should start bringing some real cash back home. All right, so a little bit of background on what I'm trying to tell you. Let's move back in time a little bit so that what I'm trying to tell you starts making sense. It's November 6th, 2023 again, and OpenAI CEO Sam Altman is presenting the latest in OpenAI and ChatGPT. The feature that we're interested in is custom GPTs, which I've made a separate video about, and you can watch it by clicking the link above, where I explain how you can make custom GPTs and what they actually are. But I'm gonna do a little recap in this video of what was said back then. Effectively, what custom GPTs are is a fine-tuned version of GPT-4. Let's say that you want to create a separate GPT that will teach people about geography. There is a tool that helps you do it and it's called the GPT Builder and we're gonna have a look at how you can use it in just a few minutes. But once you complete creating that GPT, well, at any point in time, you can start using it to have a very customized conversation with that specific GPT about your topic. So you'll only talk about geography with it because it's gonna be an expert in that region. And the whole power of those custom GPTs is that when you're starting a conversation about a specific topic, you're not talking to a very generic, Chad GPT-4, you're talking to a customized, fine-tuned and very precise version of it, which only focuses on a certain subdomain of knowledge or a skill, such as creating avatars or memes or stuff like that. So those are custom GPTs. In that same conference on November 6th, Sam Altman mentioned that the following week they'd be releasing something called the GPT Store, which allows you to sell those custom GPTs and make that profit. Now, because there was a lot of drama later that week and the week after at OpenAI, where Sam Altman got fired and then hired by Microsoft and then quit his job at Microsoft and then got rehired at OpenAI, that probably led to the GPT store release being delayed. And I just received an email from OpenAI a few days ago where they informed me about the upcoming launch. So I'm expecting it to launch any day now. That's why I decided to make this video so that you don't miss out on making that profit from the GPT store. I think this GPT store movement is kind of similar to what we saw with mobile applications about a decade ago, where we started off with an iPhone, which was very generic. It was just a phone with a few features. And then Apple allowed developers to build custom applications. And so this seems like an analogy between the original iPhone, which was bare and simple, then the iPhone with applications, which allowed Allowed you to do whatever you wanted and then this situation in this decade where we have a generic chat GPT and then we have all those different GPTs that anybody can create and anybody then can buy them and start using so it's sort of a step towards democratizing AI and I'm pretty sure other tools like Claude 2 will follow suit all right so how do we create a custom GPT well First things first, we're gonna need paid subscription of GPT-4, the GPT Plus, or the enterprise version. Next, we're gonna navigate ourselves to ChatGPT, and we're gonna click on the Explore button, which leads us to all the different GPTs. As you can see, all the GPTs that we see in the list here, they are either created by OpenAI themselves, or they're created by myself. Now, that's gonna change any day now, because again, we're gonna have that store. So you'll be able to buy a GPT from me or from your friends or from some person from the other end of the world. The first button that we see on the page is create a GPT, which for now is in this beta version, but that's also gonna change very soon. This is going to take you through a wizard where it will be asking you questions on what you want your GPT to do. And then you'll answer all the questions and hopefully create a GPT by the end of it. It's very simple and it's very quick. I'm gonna create a GPT which I think the whole world needs, which is called Meow AI, which is going to simulate a house cat if you don't have one already. GPT is already offering me the name of Meow AI, which makes sense because that's exactly what I said it would be. So I'll accept the name. Then it's giving me an example avatar for my GPT, which it generates using DALI 3, which I also have a video about if you want to watch that. And then it will ask me about how I want the GPT to interact with my users. And well, in this case, all I wanted to do was meow and purr at the user. So that's what I'll ask it to do. And then it might ask me questions about how do I want it to alterate those answers or, or how it should speak to users. And you just have to answer all those questions to make sure that your chat GPT is perfectly tuned. And then if it doesn't work out for you, you can still 
customize it further and fine tune it to perfection. So don't worry about that initial setup. And all right, I'm just about done with my custom GPT creation and it's time to test it out. So I'll ask it how it's doing today and it answers meow meow per meow, which is exactly what I needed. And then want some snacks, meow, meow, meow. And can you write me a poem? And I'm out of GPT-4 for the next hour and a half. But what we can do is save this GPT. And if you click on the save button, oh, it looks like I haven't given it a name. So, so let's go to the configure tab first. And this is what I was telling you about. This is where you can continue fine tuning your GPT. So if there's anything that you want to fix about it, this is the place to do it. So you have the instructions, you have the description, um, you have the starter prompts, and you have the features like whether you want to use web browsing, which in this case maybe is not really necessary. And you can add some custom actions which will call functions outside of OpenAI, but that's a bit more advanced. Once we give it a name, we can save the GPT and I'll show you all the different options that you get. So you can either save it for only yourself, if you just want to keep it to you, anyone with a link, which was useful up until now, because you can just share your GPT with your friends, and everyone. And if you hover over the everyone option, it will tell you that this GPT might land on the GPT store in the future. So this is exactly what we want to do. And once the GPT store goes live, we will be able to customize how much it costs and let people start using it. And then click confirm, and you're all set. So our Mia now AI is ready to be used and you might say that it's very simple and basic and who would actually need it and you're probably absolutely right, but you never know. But what you can do to make your GPT stand out and hopefully be a bit more useful than mine is, well, start using your creativity for one. But another thing you can do is try to get inspired. And if you search online for GPT directories, you'll find a lot of links to already existing GPT stores, which obviously don't cost anything, but there's tons of different GPTs that people have been creating. And so you can get inspired and see what other people have made and think of your own use case that you want to share with the world. And you can go very specific with those, of course. I forgot to mention that you can also upload your own documents, which will be a knowledge base for your GPT. So if you have some private information which isn't available online, you can upload those documents into the GPT Builder and it will gain a lot of insights from those documents which will help users. An example would be creating some sort of interactive course using GPT where people can interact directly with your knowledge base, asking questions and receiving responses. In my case, I found a website called Custom GPT Directory and if you scroll down a little bit, you will see a whole lot of different ideas and let's just see what we have we got we got something about elon musk we got a game mentor and we even have gpts about coffee if you're a fan of coffee and let's just see if my idea has been already taken i'll type in cat no responses to that meow no responses so it looks like i found my niche and maybe i should sell my meow ai after all maybe somebody will actually buy it who knows all right now we have a business plan you know how to do it and where to get inspirations and all we need is for this gpt store to actually launch. So now is the time for you to come up with incredible ideas that will bring you those users. And as opposed to the App Store in the past where you actually had to build an application and you'd need to spend a lot of time and money to bring those apps to life, this GPT Store, I mean, you saw how simple it is to build those GPTs. So I wish you good luck. And before you go, I'll just mention that there will be two links that I'll leave in the description below, which give you usage policies and limitations of building those GPTs. And they're very obvious. I mean, it's about not using GPTs for illegal activities, pornography, generating malware, activities that have high risks of physical harm, like teaching how to build weapons, no scamming, no adult content, political campaigning is off the board as well, and a couple of others. So I'll drop those relatively boring links downstairs and I wish you all the luck and well, probably don't tell me what you're gonna build, just send me the link once it's live. And I really hope that one day you can sit down and say, well, I watched this video by Silicon Mind and now I'm a millionaire. Good luck and let's see where this brings us. Speak to you soon with hopefully more tips on how to get paid with AI. Bye for now.